you spoke about uh, uh, Secretary Clinton, and uh, um, earlier you also mentioned that uh, you were interested in politics. So you've been a big contributor to uh, candidates, uh, um, both national and at the local levels. And uh, what was your motivation to get involved in politics? Well, I think that the, my motivations uh, has been and continues to be that America, uh, in in America, if you want to participate in democracy, if you want your voices heard in Washington, and since we live close to Washington, therefore we don't have to worry about the fact that we can just go over to Capitol Hill. If you want to change America in terms of the policies, in terms of the plans, in terms of the, in terms of what we're doing. Uh, not only in the foreign relations as well as the domestic policy, the economic policy, we have to have a voice. In order for you to have a voice, you have to talk with the, you have to talk to the senator, you have to talk to the congressman, you have to talk to the politicians, to talk about where we are, what we're doing, and how do we participate. It is a great honor for all of us to participate in a democracy. I know India is a shining example of democracy and secularism and diversity as well. But there's a lot of continues to Europeans and countries as well as in Africa and Asia. They're not democratic country, and China is one of them. Burma is one of them. I can go on and on, but it is a privilege and honor for all of us to participate. If we can afford it, we should be able to make a changes in our pol in the policy of the United States government. We should be able to approach the the uh, politicians, the people who are involved with the, with the policies, to make a difference. One of the major differences between uh, Indian and the U.S. democracies is uh, in India, there's no concept of uh, campaign contributions uh, uh, where uh, an individual or a you know, political action committee can give money to politicians directly. Whereas in the U.S., you know, people come to you all the time. Whoever has money, politicians come to you. Right. Yeah. Um, tell us more about this, the process here. Well, well as you know, the... the uh, uh, I, I do not know much about the Indian politics that I can comment on that, and I do not think I, it, it will be my, uh, it, it is not something that I, would, I want to care to comment on it, but I would say this, and uh, I'm sure that a lot of people do contribute to Indian politicians and, uh, and, uh, and so that they can get their agendas there. However, in the United States, uh, it is not funded by the, the taxpayers, and therefore the individual has to make the contributions. As you know, they're running an election takes a lot of money, millions and millions of dollars to run a campaign, and uh, and politicians do come to us all the times, and they have to they have to do many many things. They have to put an ad in the TVs. They have to they they, they have to uh, have the staff in order for them to go out and uh, for them to go out and campaign. So they need money. What what I have a problem with, and and I think there's a discussion going on all the time, but nothing uh, has happened so far. You know, it's like uh, impossible to get. Uh, the mountain, in a sense, uh, move in this in our in, in, in our country over here in terms of the uh, what I consider the campaign finance uh, reform. Um, I think we spend a lot of time, money, and energy on a campaign, uh, and we start the presidential cam campaign about uh, three years before the next election comes in. And the other part of the problem that I see is it's a challenge for all of us. It, it's the part of the United States. Constitution that every two years, as you know, the Congress has to run for the re-election as well. So they have to, in order for them to to keep their seat, they have to go and campaign. They have to raise the fund. In India, it's a parliamentary system, so it's a little bit different uh, uh, in India. But uh, unfortunately, that's the way it is in this country. We 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 have to work towards the financial reform so that we don't have to spend that much money and energy in in the campaign. Yeah, one of the criticisms has been, uh, you know, as soon as. Uh, uh, politician, politician gets elected to office, and then he has to think about uh, his re-election and uh, raise money almost Correct. on a daily Correct. basis. As some people tell me that they, that in during the daytime they work at the at the Capitol Hill in the Senate, the senators, and work on the policies and the meetings and the and the all kinds of the policy they have to work with. In the night, this is all they do: raise funds. They go out and uh, and uh, raise funds, and, and that's a tough challenge for the, for all of them. Really, and then they have to go back to the, their constituency as well. So it's a tough job. It's a challenging job for them. But uh, but you know what? They're doing a public service, and I'm very proud of uh, most of the politicians and all of them, as a matter of fact, that they're serving our country. And it's a noble cause, and not too many people can do that. Beside all the blames that people give it to the politicians, That's they, true. you know, uh, it, they have a tough life. I want to talk about the involvement of Indian Americans in uh, U.S. politics. Um, in the 
recent decade or so, we have seen more and more Indian Americans getting involved in politics. And um, according to some, you know, Indian Americans are a very powerful uh, lobbying group. Uh, and they point out to the nuclear deal, which, you know, many think, you know, Indian Americans uh, have, you know, lobbied uh, very heavily. Uh, well, the, the about 15 and 20 years ago, Indian Americans did not really participate in the political process of the United States. Uh, uh, because the first generation was too busy taking care of their family and children. But the, but the next generation, the people who were born over here, they're very much very active in politics. Uh, they're not as, uh, as effective. I would say they're effective. They're not as effective as Jewish lobby is. U.S.-India PAC is a good example. They're very much, uh, uh, they're very much into and they play politics and they played a very important role in nuclear one, two, three deals. Uh, not only U.S. India PAC, I would say that the, a lot of people who are Indian origin have played a very important role in passing that legislation. As a matter of fact, I went to Senator Biden's and we did some f campaign fundraising for several of the people who were not in favor to do so because we believe in we believe in India. We believe that this is the right thing to do for India and America. It will create jobs in America. It will create jobs in India. India needs the power. India needs the nuclear power. It's, a, it's the right thing to do. As a result of their lobbying from the Indian America, and you see some of the success stories. Uh, there are people in the assistant secretary in some of the sub-cabinet job. Um, and they were considered for the, for the cabinet job as well. They're very effective. Uh, they continue to be member of the board and so on and so forth. They all want to serve in the administration. They love the president. President has a, uh, Obama, is, in this case, has a, has a story. Uh, his father's journey from the hills of Kenya to the doors of America should resonate well with a lot of people. So what he has been able to accomplish is, is, a, is a wonderful story. And that story can only happen in America. So people are excited to, to participate in not only work the process, but to be part of this administration to make a difference. And the American has done a good job. They continue to do a good job. They continue to lobby uh, on behalf of India. And I, I really think that things are really working out very well. You talked about uh, President Obama. Um, you were a supporter of uh, uh, Secretary Clinton in the uh, primary battle, During and primary. later later you supported uh, um, Senator John McCain. Uh, now you are backing uh, the president 100%. Uh, well, the, pr the president, uh, first of all, I'm, I, I'm a Democrat, uh, and when when Senator Clinton in this case did not get the nominations, when uh, when Senator Obama got the nominations, we all Democrats uh, went to President Obama because we were united together to defeat George W. Bush in this case, and uh, because uh, we all felt that, the, that the, we, we lost the credibility that we used to have under Clinton administrations, and, uh, and we, need to, we need to get back to the, to the work community and start uh, having a dialogue and development rather than saying that, you know, you're with me or against me, uh, and so on and so forth, as the, as, the, uh, as the Bush administration has done. I did, uh, I did uh, as a matter of fact, uh, supported uh, uh, Senator McCain uh, in the early primaries uh, because I believe Senator McCain's uh, uh, philosophy and approach and policies uh, is a very much uh, aligned with me in terms of creating wealth, building prosperity, and, and the Democratic administration always wants to raise taxes. So I have a little bit of a problem with that. I think, I think in, order, in order for us to survive and thrive in a capitalist society, we need to create entrepreneurship in our country. We need to create people who can build uh, wealth and who can build, uh, who can build uh, uh, not only the wealth, but also create the prosperity, create a job in this country. Mm, but, but, uh, but I'm a, a very much a, a, a supporter, a strong supporter of, the, of the President Obama. His rating is very high, and his outreach to the Muslim world uh, has been tremendous, has been marvelous, has been the best that I have ever seen in any administration. So. Uh, and I hope and pray that he'll be successful, and I think he is going to be successful. But he has a lot of things on his uh, on his mind these days, but uh, with the economy, with the healthcare, environment, and many many things going on. But but he will be successful, and I hope the country will be successful. I hope the world will look at him uh, as a leader, uh, uh, as a leader of the world, and he is. He's very eloquent. Uh, he's very knowledgeable. He has experience, and uh, I hope he will do the wonders. And I know he will. And you think it's. Uh outreach to the Muslim world and the rest of the world is uh, working? Uh, 